Hello, and welcome back to another tutorial. Today, I will show you how to design a logo, using the golden ratio. I will show you two methods of doing it. First one, is designing a logo with golden circles, directly on Illustrator, and the second method, is designing the logo with the golden circles based on a sketch. The golden ratio is best understood as the proportion 1 to 1.618, it has been used throughout history to create visually appealing designs. So, first of all, let's make the golden rectangle, and extract the golden circles that we will use. Select the rectangle tool. Hold shift and make a perfect square. Maintain Alt and drag it down, to duplicate it and make it aligned with the old one. Now with the rectangle tool, maintain Shift, and from the top left make another square perfectly aligned with the other two squares. Now select everything and rotate it by 90 degrees. Again, select the rectangle tool. Hold shift and make another square perfectly aligned with the other squares. Now select everything and rotate it by 90 degrees. Again, select the rectangle tool. Hold shift and make another square perfectly aligned with the other squares. Repeat the same process until you are satisfied with the result. Now, we got our golden rectangle, now we have to extract the golden circles that we will use it to design our logo. Select the ellipse tool. Go to the center of the bigger square, maintain shift and alt and drag until you make a circle in the same size of the square. Now repeat the same process to make a circle for each square. Drag every circle outside of the rectangle. Select all the circles together. Go to the Align window. Click on Horizontal Align Center option. Then click on Vertical Align Center option. OK. This is our golden circles. Okay, there is two way to design logos with golden ratio. You see people throw circles here and there, and you don't understand anything until you see the final result. The truth is that they have already experiment the opportunities given by overlapping the golden circles and envision the result in their minds so it become easy to make. Let's try to make something that way. I will try to make a fish shape with the golden ratio. I envision the shape of the fish in my mind, then I bring the bigger circle. Now, I bring the smaller one and align them together. Now, I duplicate the big circle and let it intersect with the other big one. And the smaller circle is the height of the space between. Okay, this intersection make the body of the fish. Now, duplicate the two big circles, 
and drag them to the right side of the fish body, to make the tail. Now, bring the smaller circle to cut the tail. Select everything. Select the Shape Builder tool, maintain out and drag the cursor above the outer shapes to take it off and let only the fish shape. Ok this is our golden ratio fish. But, this is not the right method to use the golden circles. The right way, is to come up with a logo concept first. Then sketch your idea on paper, and after scan it, you grid it and refine it using the golden circles. This is what I will show you now. Ok, this is our golden circles, and this is the turtle logo sketch that I made. When sketching, you have to make your shapes as geometric as possible. I mean try to make every line rounded like it is a part of a circle. Ok, overlap the sketch on the golden circles, right click, go to arrange, and click on send to back. Now, resize your sketch to make it a bit smaller than the big circle. Now turn your sketch back to its place. Now, I will start gridding the sketch with the golden circles. Maintain Alt, and drag the big circle to the sketch, and make it aligned with the bigger roundness of the body. Ok, this one is perfectly aligned. Now, maintain Alt, and drag the smaller circle and align it with the top of the turtle's shell. It is ok if it is not exactly the same as the sketch, but you should never resize the golden circles, so you don't lose the golden proportions. Now, maintain out and drag the big circle and align it with the bottom of the turtle's shell. All the lines of the sketch, should be replaced with lines of the circles. Now, I will make the top line of the head. Maintain out and drag the third circle and align it with the head line. Make sure that the smart guides are activated, and the snap to point checked. Press Ctrl plus Y, to get the outline view so you can perfectly align the lines. This, will be the head of the turtle. Ok, press Ctrl plus Y again to get out of the outline view, now. We will pass to the turtle's legs. Maintain Alt, and drag this circle and align it with the left line of the front leg. Now, maintain Alt and drag the smaller circle and align it with the right line of the front leg. As I said it doesn't have to fit exactly on the sketch. We are just using it as a guide. Now. To make this gap under the leg, maintain out and drag the same circle and intersect it with the old one, like this. Now, maintain out, and drag this circle and align it with the left line of the back leg. Now. Maintain out and drag the smaller circle to make the right line of the back leg. Now, duplicate this circle and intersect it with the old one to make the gap under the leg. Ok now, we have every line if our turtle shape gridded with golden circles. Select the sketch, go to object, lock and click on selection. Select all the circles, then select the shape builder tool, maintain out and drag on top of the useless parts of circles to take it off, and let only the lines that form the turtle.
Now, with the Shape Builder tool selected, without pressing Alt, click and drag the cursor on the body parts to merge them together. Now, with the same technique, merge the parts of the shell. Then merge the legs parts. OK, we have our turtle outline now. I think we have to make the end of legs less sharper. So, maintain Alt and drag the smallest circle to make the end of the leg. Press Ctrl plus Y to turn on the outline view and perfectly align the circle with the leg line. Same thing to the other leg. Press Ctrl plus Y to get out of the outline view. Select the legs and the circles together. Select the Shape Builder tool, maintain Alt and drag, to take off the useless parts. Go to Object, and click on, Unlock All. Select the sketch and delete it. OK, congratulations, we made our golden ratio turtle logo. Now it needs some colors to stand out. OK, this is the outline of our golden ratio turtle, and this is two gradient colors that I picked before. You can apply any color you want. Select the shell, and with the eyedropper tool, Pick the darker gradient. Maintain shift and select the legs and the body of the turtle. Go to the pathfinder, and click on unite. Select the eyedropper tool, and pick the light gradient. Select the gradient tool, and adjust your gradient as you want. The logo, start to look better. OK, maintain Alt, and drag the shell a bit to the top left. Maintain Shift, and select the old shell. Select the Shape Builder tool. Maintain Alt and drag on the external part of the new shell. Select the new shape, go to the gradient window, double click on the right color stop and chose the color white. Go to opacity and change it to 60%. Double click on the left color stop, and change the color to white. Then decrease the opacity to 0%. Go to the transparency panel, and change the color mode to soft light. With the gradient tool, adjust the color the way you want. Now, select the white shape, maintain Alt and drag it a bit to the top right. Maintain Shift, and click on the old shape. Select the Shape Builder tool. Maintain Alt and erase the outer part. The shell stands out now. Select the Pen tool, click on the top left anchor point of the shell. 
Then click on the down right anchor point and drag until you make a perfect little rounded shape under the shell like I did. Close the shape. Now, maintain shift and select the new shape and the body of the turtle. Select the shape builder tool, maintain alt and erase the useless part. Select the new shapes. With the eyedropper tool pick the light gradient. Go to the transparency panel and change the color mode to multiply and change the opacity to 50%. Select the arc tool, make an arc from the hand to the tip of the head. With the direct selection tool, click on the anchor point of the arc and play with the handles to make the arc smoother. Select the pen tool and close the shape. Maintain shift and select the new shape with the body shape and with the shape builder tool erase the outer part select the new shape and with the eyedropper tool pick the color of the shadow under the shell select the pen tool Click on the top anchor point of the gap under the front leg, then click on the bottom anchor point of the gap of the back leg, and drag to make a rounded line. Close the shape. Then maintain shift and select the new shape with the body shape, then with the shape builder tool. Erase the outer part. Select the new shape, and with the eyedropper tool, pick the color of the shadow. Thanks for watching, I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial, you will find in the description the link to download the golden rectangle file and the logo sketch that I made if you want to use it, and I will link also the final logo file. If you find this tutorial useful, like the video and subscribe to my channel, and if you want to ask me anything, you can ask me in the comment section. Ok then, see you in another video.